Now, otherwise for Pablo, to, who had asked this question, uh, hey, I have a bunch of purple here, and purple means historical, or purple means chart, but the dashed means historical. So a bunch of historical levels that I was following on each TCR going into the market open today that I plotted on my one minute. So uh, let's focus first on like 163-ish, I think that is right there, 163 at the bottom, purple. So let's blow up the chart, see why I put 163. Can I tell you folks, I forget what I have for breakfast most mornings, so I actually have to kind of go back on this briefly just to take a quick look. Um, I have my levels mapped out with different significances, different importances there, so I know it's a historical with it being dashed purple, but let's kind of figure out why. So when we take a look, it looks like it ended up kind of bottoming out right there as a low roughly, right around that price, 163-ish. It kind of bottomed out maybe a little lower, like 160-ish. It topped off here, 164. So, you know, it's not perfect, but it seems relatively speaking pretty strong, roughly around 160, 163-ish. Here is it on the daily chart now. So it kind of spiked right there. It broke above it or it gapped up even this morning back in April. So maybe that could be support. Well, if it fails to hold over it as support, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to crash and completely ended up coming back down afterwards, right? So otherwise, that was just one level I had plotted. I also ended up focusing. Oh, actually, I have it on my notepad here, actually, uh, for my levels that I lined up. I kind of write them down now. So I even wrote daily. I wrote 1.63-5, dash not even... 160. So I was saying 163 to 165, I was telling myself actually. So I'll kind of move the line up there briefly there. Uh, next one I had was, looks like right around 271, 272. And I said that was kind of a skinnier line. I said to myself I made that. So uh, let's take a look. Why 271, why 272 that area? Kind of topped off there, I reckon, but probably going back to the daily chart. Let's take a look. Yeah, you know, honestly, I mean, probably make that a little bit better, maybe around 270-ish, just kind of like the bottoms right around here. Broke under that as support, moved back up to that area as resistance. Perhaps I could raise it up even and say like a 275. But just roughly within that vicinity, I was kind of focused on that as the next quote unquote historical level. But notice what I'm doing though. Like I even tell myself on my notepad, like make that a skinnier line, meaning I'm not as like confident in that compared to 165 if it were to completely pull back and test that as support. And then otherwise, the next one, I was pretty confident of this being a pretty strong top. I mean, this one just looks the best. It was roughly off of 316 to roughly 320, I wrote. I gave myself like a four cent range acting as resistance there. Held it pretty nicely as support here on a couple of these lows on the daily. Broke under it. Support should look to become resistance. And then over time, it's really held pretty nicely. So again, I kind of made that like, I told myself 316 to 320 roughly, just kind of that range altogether from the historicals. So how did that pan out altogether? How did these levels play out? Well, early uh, in pre-market, super early, like eh, before I'm able to trade, it broke over 165. Actually, might I say it rebroke over 165 because this popped going into the afternoon yesterday. So, you know, this is considered a rebreak. This actually would have led to a beautiful move. But otherwise, though, it moved up higher and higher, you know, topped off over 320, 316. But we're not trying to be perfect. You know, we're, just look at the reaction after. What's, what happened after? The thing tanked. So we're just trying to make sure we get out before the top of the roller coaster. We're trying to get out before this thing comes on the way back down. So, you know, hey, maybe this could have held as a small, tiny support. But if it's not going to make that big slingshot back up after, it's only going to keep dropping. So... I'm a Cyber Group member today. Just click the link below and receive all these amazing products and a world of knowledge for just $9. Do it today.